guys, Jared here, JC's Lawn Tips. Today I have the 2020 Gen 3 Gravely Pro Stands 32 behind me. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I'm a part of the Gravely Ambassador Program this year. Thank you to the folks at Gravely for having me on board again. Uh, really, really cool to be a part of that program. And uh, part of the being in the program, I get to uh, pick out a demo unit to use for up to 100 hours, which for me is basically the whole summer. Um, and we return it around September time. So I wanted to take some time, walk around this thing. I know uh, you guys have seen a little bit of this before on my channel at Dealer Summit, but I kind of want to show you some of the things that we've noticed on this machine before I get into the full review, which will be coming out uh, probably in a month or so on this machine. But I wanted to give some, uh, some feedback here. So I'll kind of take you guys through it again and show you what we like about it and what we don't like about it. All right, so here you have it, the Gravely Pro Stance 32. And this is what a lot of people have been asking for. They have the 36, but the, they know that the 36 is not actually 36 inches wide. It's actually like 36 and a half. So they actually cannot fit through 30, their 36 inch gates or the really tight 34 inch gates. We have gates that will fit deck to deck, edge to edge, barely fitting through the, uh, the gate. So I really love the concept of a small mower. For me personally, it just does not fit my business model anymore. We're getting away from the smaller gated yards and getting into bigger properties uh, that we just don't really need a machine of this size like I thought we would. Um, I'm very grateful and thankful for the demo opportunity on this machine. It's just not gonna fit me quite well. However, I do wanna explain and point out to you guys what will or will not maybe work for you and your business. So being the 2020 model, they changed literally everything on this machine front to back. Um, the 32 inch being the smallest deck size they now offer. They also offer a 36, a 48, a 52, and a 60 um, in this new Pro Stance lineup. So a couple of cool things that have changed now on here. Uh, you have the muffler that goes above the exhaust, which is huge because on some of the older Pro Stances, um, like the 36, this muffler would just like heat up this discharge suit, discharge suit here. And now you can just lift this up and the chute can fall down out of the way. What's really cool too are these belt covers now down here. They literally just pop right off and pop right back on. Uh, they have like, it's called automotive grommets. So you don't have to un like loosen any wing nuts like this or anything anymore on the, your deck pulleys and belts. So you can blow that out and stuff real easy. Um, another new thing on the Pro Stance, they went away from the dial height of cut to now this pin system, which I actually do like. And I was disappointed because I like the wheel, but now after running this for a few hours, I like the pin system. You can see easily what it is. A lot of complaints that people say about the Pro Stance is, well, this handle, it's so dumb. It's, you know, it's so high up. It hits tree branches, blah, 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 blah. So the handle is actually super nice because it's at the right height. And I think, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm, sh I'm sure the reason why it's so high is so you get more leverage on it because you can really feel it. Now, the, my other favorite thing about Gravely is having this foot pedal. One thing I don't like about this foot pedal is that it's on the outside. On the older Pro Stances, it was on this side. I know they switched it over to this side because of where the, uh, the pin system and stuff is. However, I like that... I miss that being on the inside on the old post stance. And what I don't like about this is it sticks out farther than the wheel. I don't know why they did this. If you're going to leave it on the outside, at least cut it shorter. Because this is the first thing to hit when you go through a gate. So not sure what they were thinking there. I'm guessing maybe this is used on some of their other zero turns. So they maybe were trying to save a part there and uh, just do that. The other thing is this platform is super nice, super wide. Got a lot of space on here. Here's the control pattern here. They got this new, uh, you can dial this in to change your different speeds for different operators. Personally, I think it's pointless, but if you're a bigger company, I guess they use them. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for this gas gauge. You can actually see what the fuel is now. Yes, it's upside down, but that's no big deal. Um, that's just the way the tank is. Chokes right here, keys right here, which is in a little bit of a weird spot, but honestly, uh, when you go to start the machine, you get used to it. I'm just used to the old pro stands with the key being over up here and stuff. So it's just new stuff to get used to for me. Blades are right there on off. Parking brake is a little stiff, but I think it's just because it's so new. This machine's only got seven hours on it. Um, I love, love, love this cushion. This cushion is amazing. Love the design of it. Love the how comfortable it is. Um, however, I feel like when you stand on the machine, like I hardly ever touch this cushion at all. Like I'm a good foot away. Well... 10 inches, eight inches away from it. Unless I'm going on a hill, 
and you know fall towards it more the other thing is this latch this latch is just one thing that i wish they would have done different on and now i've heard why they couldn't do different on it i think it had something to do with patents um but so that doesn't like it doesn't actually latch when you lift up anymore you actually have to push this in and then latch it like that now what's cool though i love about gravely is these right here and you're like well what are these what's so great about these if you ever get your machine stuck to put this your machine in neutral all you have to do is pull these things out to where it notches in right there i'll show you again so that's in like the drive speed to put it in neutral pull it out to where those teeth are now i can push the machine or tow the machine out with another mower whatever um tires are skinny on here as to be expected with a 32 you got the new fenders you got a gas tank on here i believe it's a six gallon gas tank kawasaki fs fs 600v all wide in the open easy to get at everything machine is very long i will give them that that is for sure but i love the concept of a small stand on mower my only complaint when mowing is this thing can shoot some grass and you'd be like well what's so bad about it shooting grass like it'll shoot grass all the way out to about there the problem with that is is when you're in a tight backyard you're by a patio you're by a mulch bed you're by a rock bed you're just going to blow grass everywhere and that's one of the other reasons why we're trying to get away from backyard mowing save us time on push mowing blah 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 just to uh, save that hassle. Now you could put an OCDC on here. OCDC stands for Operator Controlled Discharge Chute. And what that does is you'd remove this discharge flap, put like a grass slap or put a gravely branded shoe blocker on here, close that chute off, basically stopping the clippings from blowing everywhere, almost making your mower like a mulchy mower. They work great in the fall for mulching up leaves and that sort of stuff. However, that might add a little bit more width to your machine. So now you go from being able to fit through 32, 33 inch gates to now being able to fit in 34 inch gates. So if you're buying this mower for fitting into tight area areas, factor that it's gonna shoot grass far and you're gonna have to do something to block off that flow of clippings when you're in tight areas. Now, if you're in an open area like over here, it does not matter. But when you're in those tight spots, where, you know, with a push mower, you'd be mulching. This thing is going to shoot grass. So just know that going into it. Um, you got everything out in the open on this machine. That's what I love. You have your fuses right there, hydraulic oils right there. Any sort of maintenance you need to get at, super, super easy to get at. Oil drain is right there. You can actually take this off and you actually have a spot to drain your oil at. Like that's unheard of on a mower. Usually it's like got to wrap it around the frame one way or whatever so overall a very very well thought out machine no doubt about it and um for my company and what we do 52 and 60 inch decks are the absolute best size so i'm hoping in the next two years or so to convert over to the new gen 3 uh pro stance and uh probably get rid of my 2016 it's got about 630 hours on it right now once i get around the thousand hour mark i'll probably sell that one upgrade to a 52 or 60 inch gen 3 um and as much as i love this little 32 i just don't know that i want to add it to what we're doing right now we do quite a few commercial properties and uh medium-sized residential where this would just take a little bit too long to cut so for me, it's just not the perfect fit right now, but I'm hoping for that you guys watching it. Hopefully this helps you uh, in deciding to purchase or not purchase this machine. Because I'm not trying to sell you this machine at all. I'm just trying to give you my honest feedback on it. What's good about it? What's bad about it? So that when you know when you're going to look for a machine, is this a machine for me or do I need to look for something else? That's what I'm here for. That's what I want to show you guys. So you can uh, get the, this experience without having the machine in front of you. So that's the whole point of my channel is just to help people out. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Hope you found this helpful. Like I said, please stay tuned. There's going to be a full review on this machine with mowing footage, tall grass like that. That's like hasn't been cut. Short grass, normal grass, whatever. We're going to run through it all. We're going to tell you everything we like about this machine, everything we do not like about this machine. And hopefully you'll be able to determine whether it's the right machine for you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content on this machine, more content for landscaping, lawn care, and everything else you can think of. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.